How to create shape tweens using Adobe Animate. So I'm going to show you how to create shape tweens and how I created this abstract animation. So let me just hit play. And these nifty abstract designs are called shape tweens. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. File, new, full HD, 24 frames per second, HTML5 canvas. I'm going to hit create. And the first thing I'm going to do is make it so I can see my entire stage. In my case, it is putting it at 25% so I can see everything going on. Now, and I'm going to start out by going to about oh, five seconds here, and I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. Okay, and I'm going to create another layer, and I will just go back a tick, go here, and also create a blank keyframe here. Okay. So, in the first layer, I will put all well, the top layer. I'll do the top layer first. At the very beginning, I'm going to create a shape. That's a square. And then all the way at the end in the blank keyframe, I'll create another shape. A circle and as you can see if I just right click here create shape tween it will morph from one shape and color into another so what I can do is I can go to that first shape, I can click on it, I can transform it, I'm going to hit transform and then envelope, and I'm going to just make it a much more complex shape than it was before, much more interesting and vibrant. Okay, and I'm going to add some other shapes to it to make it really interesting. Okay, so now I've got this really interesting weird shape, and let's see what happens. It's still going to morph into that last shape. No matter what I do, it'll morph into that last shape. And this is true even if I change the last shape. So as you can see, I can distort this last shape. I can add other shapes to it. I can add other colors to it. And no matter what I do, the two shapes will still morph into each other. So let's try that again. Now, I'm going to take this layer. 
I'm going to hit copy frames. I'm going to go here and I'm going to do paste frames. Then I'm going to select this and I'm going to do reverse frames. And what's going to happen is you're going to see the whole thing uh, morph from one shape into another and then back to the original shape. So it's actually going to be like a loop. Okay, so now I know how to do that. I'm going to go to my second layer and make something completely different. So I'm going to go here and let's see, I'm going to pick a totally different spot. Okay, and let me morph this shape a little. Transform envelope. Let's give it another color. Okay, and now we're going to go here to where I inserted my blank keyframe. And we're going to create another shape. Some totally different colors. Okay, and now we're going to go to the middle here, and we're going to insert motion tween, I mean create shape tween, and let's see how it looks. Okay, we don't want it to disappear halfway through, so we're going to go here. We're going to copy it, copy frames, we're going to go here, paste frames, and let me go here, reverse frames, so that it comes together, goes across, and then back again. So let me hit play and see how it looks now. Just a bunch of fun abstract shapes interplaying with each other. And now I'm going to add another layer, just a sort of an experimental fun film. No necessarily, not actually any meaning to it. But I'm going to go to the very bottom layer. I'm going to go to the beginning. And I'm going to pick a color. So in this case I decided to pick black. I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm going to create a background color for my design. Let me just play it one more time to see how the whole thing looks. Okay, now you can actually make as many of these layers as you want. So I've decided I'm just going to do I'm going to add one more on the top and I think I'm going to make this one super simple. 
So I'm just going to go here and create a circle. And I'll go over here all the way to the end. And in that last spot, I will insert a blank keyframe. And I will just create a fun design with some circles. And this time I don't think I'm going to morph it or do any envelope transformations or anything. I'm just going to right click and create a shape tween. And let's see how it looks. And then I think I'm finally done with this animation. Okay. So I'm going to just name this, uh, I'll save as Shape Tween Experiment. And I will save it here. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to do export file, export, uh, video, export video slash media. I'm going to call it Shape Tween Experiment and it's going to go to the same place it has to go into the media encoder which will take a second and i should get a little pop-up notification when it is exported there's the media encoder and you're going to see it encoding here in just a second. Here we go. So if I go here to my downloads, there's my shape tween experiment. And then the next step would be to bring it into Wii Video and add some sound effects and music. Maybe some bubbling water or other strange sound effects or maybe just some slow meditative music to go along with my animation. <laughs> 